right, that's those belly pans all clear coated. Now I'm gonna let that cure for about a day and then I'll wet sand them down, get those deck holes on, re-clear them again. So what I'm gonna be doing now is just clear, painting these black bits. So these are gonna be in black and satin black, just like everything else. I will make some aluminium inserts to put on these behind them, some grill, that's what we should have. So I'm gonna do those in black, this in black, and this in black as well then oh i've got these two little pieces up here so we'll get those done and then we'll get the stickers straight on these i think i'll give it a blast when the stickers on because they're not too hard and then i'll uh, clear coat over these with some satin see what they see what it turns out like before i uh mix the satin clear for the rest of the bike The panels have been, the belly panels have been clear coated in gloss and they now need to be wet sanded. Then I'll apply the decals, then re clear coat them in gloss, then wet sand it again. Then we will apply the satin clear. The front mud guard has been painted and glossed. It looks like a matte finish because I've wet sanded that. That is how these are going to look. It's a beautiful finish on those. Only a few little tiny dust nibs in them. Right. So I've applied the decal on this one. Um, it's going to be glossed over one more time. These uh, air duct inlet tubes things have been clear coated, wet sanded down. The stickers are on there, vinyl stickers are on there. So I'm going to gloss those. Same with this one here. This one will be glossed also. So rub this down, get all the orange peel out. Make sure it's surface level. And then we'll get those decals on. So keep it constantly wet. We don't want to rub through that paint. We'll sand this down, dry it all off, check for orange peel in it, any reflections. We're gonna really be careful around the edges. I'm just gonna give those a rub through last because, well, we don't want to rub those through. I put plenty of paint under there and plenty of clay coat under here. So this is all I'm doing. I've got some water, there's no soap in there, nothing like that. I'm gonna rub it over. You can actually feel, usually, the surface, uh, you can feel the texture when you're rubbing it, what it feels like. If it feels slippy, then you've got clear coat there. As the paper then starts to grip, you know you're, you're rubbing it down flat. Okay, look at that. So I've just gone over this panel. It's not taken me that long at all. I've only spent, I'd say, about 15, 20 minutes on doing this, and already it's nice and flat. There are some dust nibs and some orange peel you can see down here. See that? There's some orange peel in the surface there, and just there, where that reflection is, that's where there's a little bit of a dust dust nib which I've got out. Other than that, this is pretty cool. Um, I've gone over the edges, there's still some of the edging to do there. Any of these glossy parts, you want to remove them. Can't do much about for where the screw holes go, but you want to remove those little glossy parts, okay? Got a little bit to do there, and up here looks fine. There's a little bit of orange peel there, you can just see that, but other than that, there's no reflections down it's pretty clear. We, dry, we dried this out and it looks pretty good. Okay, so it's time to get these decals on. Uh, please excuse a mess. I am a messy worker sometimes, but I have great results. Okay, so I've marked up here where this Aprilia sticker goes. Let's grab it. It's best to cut these out as close as you can, but I've left a little peel off spot there. Look, cut them out as close as you can. Then you can line them up to make sure they fit before you apply them. So this is going to go there like that. This part here is left in uh, the orangey red. And this sticker is going to line up with those green bits of tape there. So um, there's a little problem here. This panel doesn't quite line up. Oops, pull it out. If you check it out there, that corner, you can see that. I don't know if this is from... Um, two separate models clip that back in there i don't know if this is from an earlier model they had a slight difference in panels or what but that is slightly different so 
what I can do to correct this is, is if I mask this up later, before I clear coat the whole thing, I'll just I'll paint that black underneath there. That way you're not going to see it because it'll stick out like a saw thumb. All that really will look naff. Right, <clears throat> so I'm going to peel this paper back, get this wet down, and squeeze this sticker on. So, fingers crossed, we get this right, otherwise, otherwise we're buggered. Okay, so, I've got a couple of drops of washing up liquid in here. Probably could do a little bit more, but I'm going to wet that through. And then we shall remove... The film. Soak it through. Ideally, I want to get the backing film off also because it can prevent it from going down neatly. I found that this backing film is pretty tough, so it's hard to get off. I think I'm just going to have to lay that one down. be lined up it's gonna pull it this way a tad take a look So there'll be a lot of water under here, what I'm going to do is keep shoving it out, you can see it come out of these edges, if you dry it off there and then give it a wipe, you can see it pushing out still. But I'm going to give these uh, a day to dry, a day or two to dry out thoroughly before I even dream of clear coating it. Keep working it. I'm pushing that water out. You can tell when it's mostly gone because it will sit flat. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Get this soaked through. Check that we're good.
Edwards is going with him, but Corsa bogged it down off the line. Regis Laconi, the Frenchman, leads them into turn one, and Okada has got away to a great start. That was a stunning start from Laconi. Never even started one of these bikes before his first time out on the four stroke. He had a nasty incident this morning in the warm up, but everything's looking okay at the moment. Lap two, Hodgson's trying to get rid of Ben Bostrom, but we focus on that top four. Here comes Corsa, out of the draft, into the braking zone. He slips on the inside of the number one machine, so he moves up one more position. It's the uh, Aprilia's one and two, Okada has dropped back. So I've already started these side pounds, I rubbed those down. I was going to just give them a quick scotch in, put the stickers on, and then uh, just go with clear coat. But this is base coat that's on them. It's rubbing off quite easily, and you can't sand base coat and then just clear it. You have to uh, rebase and then put clear on there. Okay, so those are going to get prepped. So a little bit more work on those, getting rubbed down. Um, the tank as well, that is going to get prepped today. I'm going to rub the tank down. I may peel this back. I don't know why that's been masked up from there, but underneath here it could be all red or something miscolored. So we'll have it. We'll take a look under there. Um, that's going to get prepped. Um, nose cone as well. Some prep work doing the nose cone. It's a lovely paint job on here, but there's, there's a few little sunny scratches and niggles I've got to get out. You might not see, but there's a few little chips and dints in there. That will, if I apply the decal to that, it will show through and create an air bubble, so need to look out for those. Okay, so rub that down, rub that down, rub this down. Then we're gonna get some black base on them, so I will get these out of here when I do that. And I want to also get some black base coat on these areas here, probably around this. I'll mask up that red, that way I can blend all that in. Um, and also here, I might do that as well. Right, let's crack on, crack on. Okay, I'm just testing how I'm going to hang these panels for painting. Ideally, uh, I want them hung like this because there's less chance of dust uh, landing onto the surface, any contaminants. So I can, if I'm painting uh, towards the other side of the garage, I'll be pushing dust away. The thing is, if, if I'm painting towards this door here, then dust can rebound and come back. So ideally, I want to be painting that way. I'm going to turn this around, but... I've hung it there in the meantime anyway, uh, just to check the uh, the paint position, make sure I can get around it, make sure it's nice and safe there, brilliant position that. And I also just want to check, now it's dry, check around it for any spots that I've missed. Um, there's a few, these are just water droplets, but there's a few flat spots. These little dots here, it's probably, this is just peeled off from sanding, so, these are probably where there is dust contamination and it's picked, pulled it out when it's been previously painted. And here we've just got a little slight indentation there. I could clear coat over that, I think, and it will cover it, but I might just sand that back out. Ideally, if I ba put base coat on here and then uh, put a sticker over base coat, which you shouldn't do anyway, it would show through there. That wants to be get out, it needs to be flat and level. But I, I can just base coat this clear coat, which I'm going to do, then level the clear coat out. That will be easier than removing more of this paint. Um, there's a couple more around here. You can just see these these little spots here, look, where the surface is a little bit uneven. So I need to get those out. A little bit more work than I anticipated in here. There's some more little cracks. It's not going all the way through. I'm not too concerned about those. 
we don't want the um, the decal cracking that will make a mess of it right okay so I'm gonna clear the I'm gonna to continue to sand that get these out of the room and then I will mask up these belly pans for for uh, the black touch-ups and we'll crack on with the right, tank. So I've removed all that masking tape that was on the back of the tank just to take a look underneath it because I want to get this tank painted properly so let's take a look. Right so here we are we've got the masking tape removed like I said and this tank was originally red. Um, I want this to be black from top to bottom I don't I don't really like like it to leave like this uh, with a big red ass on it so we're going to paint that over and get it all nice and black we'll, I will remove the fuel pump I may just mask over these breather hoses because uh, they can be a problem removing them so I'll mask over those and I'll probably get some black on the underside of this as well I'll clean it right up make it look a bit more factory okay Now an opportunity to check the interior. Oh, this is inside your tank. this with the post a customer sent it to me I've stripped the backing plate from it and the decals and the cushion on top there uh, you already sent me that one well I've collected this one but it's already in black it's got a few holes in it and these little tabs here where the backing plate attaches to are all broken off I was going to repair that one for him I can repair that one but it'll be a little bit of a chew getting that repaired so I've got this anyway, it's all in gloss, it's in beautiful condition, it's a shame to paint. I'm going to paint the back of it in black, clay coat the back of it, and I'm going to sand this down uh, 600 grit, sand that down 600 grit. It's already got clay coat on there, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem getting that finished right and leveling it. And we're going to get this painted, we're going to get this painted up in, um, in black as I do these. So it's a good job that's arrived today, puts me in front, so I don't have to mix any more paint and do it separately. This is where he's been so exceptionally strong, down into Ravazza. He will go deep on the brakes, but no matter how deep he goes, he's not close enough to Rulaconi. Regis should have enough. He's won in 500cc Grand Prix racing. Could this be the first time in four-stroke racing? It certainly looks that way. Zaus has one last opportunity as he comes into the Bassa chicane. Zaus is not quite close enough. Hang on to it, Regis. He almost blows it. Zaus gets the run out of the chicane. Side by side, Laconi gets there. Regis Laconi wins his first World Superbike race to finish the 2001 season on a high. Also, there's some areas here where I've just sanded 
with, with a thousand grit wet paper. That's a thousand grit because there's a few little bits of lint in there, some fibers, I've got that out. What I'd, what I'd do is now, I've let this flash off for 10 minutes, so having a good check around it, making sure there's no more dust specks in there, because what I'm gonna do next is go ahead with a full wet coat of base on there. I want to make sure there is no bits of lint and dust on the areas. If, if there is, we'll start painting up, I'll, I'll just stop, let it flash off, go over it with a little bit, little bit of thousand grit again, and then reapply the base coat. So, Now that now we're all doing right today, I'm going to be applying decals to the fairing panels and the nose cone. I want to really get in front now. We've got lots of work to do and we are behind. Um, we started this last Monday. We're now on Thursday. So <clears throat> it's a little bit of a difficult one. We had an event at the weekend we had to attend to, so I, won't be able to, I wasn't able to work all the weekend. got to really get these wet make sure the piss wet through oh, it actually fits quite and lovely does that lined up really well oh no I did it then wet this down in case we drop it on there So this nose cone at the moment, what I'm doing is sanding out these cracks and dimples and bumps. Uh, we've had a crack there, which I've filled in with some clear coat. I'm going to have it. We have one there, one here, one here, and there's one little one there. It's very hard to get these uh, covered up. So uh, this is in clear coat at the moment. I'm sanding a clear coat down to get some of these dints and things out. If I were to apply the vinyl on there, the stickers, sorry, uh, when I s squeeze that out, you would see bubbles, air bubbles in where these little dints and defects are, so I can't really allow that. And this needs to be perfect, as best as possible. This nose cone is probably the worst out of everything. It's been painted that many times. Got green paint on it, white paint on it, red, fucking you name it. So, what I'm going to do now is, is uh, dust over some base coat to get rid of these areas. And then uh, I'll consider maybe have to re-clear the whole thing. Uh, and that should be it. All right, everybody, more painting. We're doing some touch-ups today. I'll show you what we're doing. I'm ready for clear coating these uh, belly pans, but I have been masking up around this black part of the decal here. I mean, I could have painted this black and white on. I could have painted it on there, no problem. Um, but we've got, you can just see in, this, in a sticker there, look, that is, Little white bit there, some there. You might not see these on camera, but I can see them. There's another one there. Look, you just see that. So there's another one. Is that one there? Yeah. It looks like dust or little scratches. Another one there. Look. So there's a few in this side as well, but the main reason I want to paint this is if you notice, I've masked up and left the red exposed. And when I put this panel together, 
did I show you in the other video? When I put this panel together, this did not line up. This angle here did not line up with the fairings. It's not the, it's not the decal that's got fault here. It was one of these and it did not line up. So, so what I want to avoid is having this bike put back together with the fairings all assembled, looking like that, and a, a, a nasty looking red line going straight between that decal, which would appear to be around here. I think I can't remember if it's this panel or the other panel, but it, yeah, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit with the fairing here. It doesn't, it doesn't snug up tight. So when it's together, it's going to look like that on the bike. And we don't want that. Right. And I've done the same with this as well. The deck the decal just doesn't fit perfect round here. And we've got some orange exposed, so I want to darken that out. I will go further and put the white round it, but we're just gonna do it like this for now. There's no need to go nuts with it. That one's not really fitting very well. Excuse me, I've got my mask on so you not tell what I'm talking about. I'll try the best I can. Right, so this is all going to be in black. Okay, so just like that, it is done. Awesome, awesome. That looks so much better, doesn't it? So much better than before. Let's see if we've got this all. Loads better. That quite pleased with that. You'll not see any, see any of that red behind it now. Okay, let's get this off and 
mount it somewhere and we'll clear coat that up. advantages at the pumps too. Alrighty, uh, 58 please. 